Hi, this is Esther from Nevada. And just let me check to make sure I'm recording. Yes, I'm recording. All right. Esther from Nevada coming at you. <clears throat> How are you? How is everyone? Oh, really good, I hope. Um, just a couple people joined this week. Lynn A. and Elaine Peters. You know, I have the fewest viewers of all pod all the podcasters. I have about 50 viewers, and I love every one of you, and I'm not complaining. But do you know that Tilly Trout, who I've talked to you about before, has like 5,000 viewers, and she just quit this week? She quit podcasting. I'm disappointed, <clears throat> but I just wonder why. She was so popular and everything. I guess she just got too busy. That probably is the answer. Well, I'm not too busy. I don't have a darn thing to do. I'm retired. All right. How about a finished object? A finished object. This I am so pleased with. It turned out very well. See, I had to do that, um, that binding because the Pico binding and the thing, because I couldn't do the lace. I could not do the lace. So I got the pretty little black Picos, and I used the black. Okay. One lady told me, yes, use the black. Oh, good, I already had. So that turned out well, and it really feels good. I thought it might be kind of rough and scratchy because it's uh, Peyton's, the brown is Peyton's sock, and it's kind of, Scratchy, but, you know, good wool. But it isn't once I washed it. Very nice. And I picked up a project I'd started last October. Oh, this is months old. And I finished it. It is the Magic Cake Ruffle Shawl. There's the ruffle. And there's the thing. And you do it by taking all different colors of sock yarn and tying these magic knots, it's in the pattern, how to do the magic knot, and you make this big ball of all these sock yarns mixed together. You just, at, at whim, you know, this one, that one, this one, that one, back to this one, and, and, and then you wind it up, and then you just start making the shawl, and you don't know what color is gonna come out. And this is what came out, it's so funny. It's kind of bright, the orange and the pink, but it's kind of cute. I love the ruffle on it. The ruffle turned out to have a, a little blue edge, like I'd planned it, which I didn't. <clears throat> That's just how the yarn came out. It was really fun to do. I haven't blocked this yet, but I thought it was kind of good the way it is. So, it's pretty. Very bright. I don't know where I'll wear that to the circus or something. You know the next one I want to make? Oof. Drop the shawl. Shawl overboard. The next one I want to make is called Tailwind. Tailwind. It's cute. It's real pretty. Like that. It's nice, simple. You know, take a while to do, but it'll be nice and simple. It'll have stripes and colors and stuff. And the colors I want to make it in are these. Nothing too wild this time. This is called um, this is um, Madeline Tosh Light in Farmhouse White. It's a real pretty white. And then this is Strange Harvest color and it's called Smooshy, the Dream Smooshy Sock. It's really pretty autumn color. And then some black. The same black I had on that big colorful shawl with all the different colors on it. Same black. I think those will look good together. Ooh. Fancy. So I don't have anything on the needles right now. That'll be it. This will be it. The tailwind will be it. But I have nothing right now. I was making a sock. Oh. I did not do well. That was a fail. Uh, if I had it here, I'd show it to you. I don't, I don't know where that thing is. It should be in the garbage. 
It was a bad sock. Ay, ay, ay. I guess I'll just un undo it, rip it out, and I don't know. Try again or not? I don't know. Later, though. I'm so sick of it. I tried and tried with that sock. Hmm. I sent away for some new yarn. They're the same, same color. It is shawl and a ball. <laughs> I thought that was cute. It's real nice soft stuff from Lion Brand. Shawl and a ball. It's just blue and white. Different blues and cream. White. It should be really pretty. It's real soft, even though it's it's only acrylic, I believe. Oh, it's cotton. Cotton and acrylic. Oh, that'd be good for summer. <clears throat> but it's real fuzzy and pretty. But it's thin. Look at that. It, to me, it looks sport. But they say it's... According to the label, they say it's um, worsted. Mm, baloney. At most, it's DK. But I think it's sport. Maybe the fuzz makes it worsted you know the fuzz probably comes out when you're knitting it and it makes it a fatter thing that should be fun to knit with I sent away for more yarn I know I wasn't going to but I didn't have any cotton I need cotton I and I need some uh, cotton for cotton tops for the summer I always make at least two every summer and wear them all summer Love it. I sent for some cottonese. They stopped carrying cottonese in the in my stores uh, in Nevada here. I don't know why. So I had to send away for it from Lion Brand. I bought a blue, a purpley blue, and then a taupe. Real pretty, like brown taupe. Real nice. I've been in the mood for brown lately. I want to make some brown things to wear this summer. Alright, well... Since I don't have any uh, more work in progress or anything to show you, I thought I'd show you some of my old finished objects that I'm giving away to charity. This is one. I forgot. I almost forgot. This is one. Just real simple. I forget what it's called. I really, I don't know. Forgot. That should be nice for somebody. They say they give these to away in the rest homes up here, the things I give them. So that's nice. And here's another one. Oh, wingspan. It's called wingspan. So here's another wingspan. That's pretty. Look nice on a little old lady like myself. Oh, this is nice. It's a very short little twirly shawl. It's made out of that special cotton. Mm. Uh, you know, I give things, uh, bags away all the time because I make a lot of things and there's no way I could wear them all or, or even want to wear them all. I don't want to look like a Christmas tree. So I give them away. People ask me, why do you do it? Don't you like those things? Well, of course I love them. I adore them. But why not give them to someone who might wear them, need them, or think they're good, you know, think they're special? Here's one I made that nobody else seems to like. I like it, and I want to see what you think. I think it's pretty. I guess they didn't like the, the, the fancy cut, the bright colors. They thought it would be better in just like white or pale colors or something. It's one of those Maria Monska patterns that was stitched in Sweden. And she just did it in, uh, I think, white or something. Oh, be different. Do it brighter. So I did. You know, when I look at these things, I think, oh, I would save them. I might wear them. Yeah, where? Where would I wear them? The grocery store? Oh, here's one. Here's a pretty little thing. It's not very practical, but it's just decorative. It's just a little thing like this. It's just a little cute thing. I tried to give this away at my knitting group one time, and the lady admired it and said, Here, would you like it? And she said, No. 
What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong with you? People are strange. It's just a cute little shoulder, like decoration, really. But it's cute. It was fun to make. I made it on vacation. I just took a ball of this yarn and the pattern, you know, and made this on vacation. DK weight. Very nice. And what have I got? One more thing. You know, these things are nice. Maybe I will keep them. I don't know. I don't know. I get selfish when I open the bags of all my stuff. <clears throat> if I don't look at them, I don't miss them. There's something pretty. There's a little scarf. Now, we went to Chile, Peru and Chile, on a cruise. We went from Los Angeles all the way down to Chile and in Peru. I bought all this alpaca. So this feels so nice. This is very nice. Mm, that feels good. I just, some nice lady in a wheelchair would love to have this, I know. Because it's really special to feel alpaca on your skin. Oh, it's nice. Ooh. Awesome. This one kind of matches my shirt. That was fun. Well, as far as my reading goes, I don't know if you care about my reading, but I may as well talk about it. Um, I got Like I've been saying, I have this thing with Norway. I think they're so interesting and neat. Colorful and wonderful. But... I'm of Swedish heritage, so I thought, oh, read some old Swedish books, too. I mean, dang. So, I sent away for a couple. Selma Lagerlöf. Uh, uh, really old. I think she wrote in the early 1900s. And, but she won um, Pulit some sort of awards and Pulitzer Prize or something. She won awards for her books. So I thought I'd give it a try. Oh, man. Uh, the book she won the award for, I couldn't... It had the devil in it. The devil just was in there talking to people in a party. And a, these guys called the Cavaliers. They're uh, just drinkers and partiers. And the devil made a deal with them. And <laughs> the devil was sitting there smoking the pipe. And I said, this, this book's got to go. I, I'm not ready for this. Uh, but then I got another book by her that, that was supposedly a, uh, well, I mean it was, a textbook for kids in Sweden at the time uh, for little kids. <clears throat> it told all about Sweden's um, natural resources and animals and the geography by telling this cute little, little tale about a gnome, a really cute gnome who goes all over Nils. His name, the gnome is Nils. And so I'm reading that. It's a big picture book. I look silly reading it. A big child's picture book. But it's really cute. And nice. That's interesting. I think I'll just go back to Norway. For some reason, I mean, I don't care if I'm not n Norwegian. I'm, I like it. So I'm just going to stay with it. I'm going to go back to Norway books. And art and history. And I want to learn all about it. And if you look on a map, Norway is right next to Sweden. And why do I only... I mean, I have no idea what's going on, but maybe some ancestors of mine uh, moved next door to Norway or something. I don't know. For some reason, I have a deep interest in it. So I'm going to keep it up. Okay, I think, you know, I think that's about all I have. I've only gone 13 minutes, but maybe that's plenty, you know? I don't have anything more to talk about. I guess I could show you some patterns. I've been printing out patterns like crazy. Of things I want to make in the future. Which, of course, is... My future couldn't possibly be long enough to make it all. <laughs> all right. One I want to make is this little bunny. That is a cute bunny. Bunny in a blue dress. It's free on Ravelry. It's cute. Oh, I think a little kid would just love it. And how about Exploration Station? I want to make that. In, not pink and black, of course. By the crazy guy, uh, Stephen West. I'd like to make it in some kind of subdued colors. Alright, alright. And here 
here is a very nice pattern. I don't know if you've ever seen this. I know one of you told me you made it before. Summer flies. I think I talked about it. Yes, I did. I remember saying I, I thought it was like flies all around. But it's just summer goes fast. That's all what it means. Oh, but I think this is so pretty. I love edgings. Edgings are nice. The way from Brighton. But look at the edgings. Cute little pom pom things. Oh, I love it. And this is made of sport weight yarn. I would love it. It's uh, Hohi Locatelli. And she's a very famous uh, young designer of stuff. Oh, I'd love to have this. I made something by her before. And it's very nice. I didn't give it away either. I saved it. Okay, well, I hope I didn't forget anything. I hope uh, you come back next week and I'll have some more things for you. I'll have some more things made. I do have another bag of things I could drag out and show you. So, hasta la vista!